I think I might need. Oh, it's making this spot on the side of my lip look even better. Yay. Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. So I thought I'd film for you guys a really casual and really relaxed December favourites video for you guys. I was thinking about doing like a best of beauty 2015 kind of thing but a lot of the products that I really liked this year I didn't actually bring home with me because I couldn't bring home my entire makeup collection on a train. Uh, surprisingly. I own quite a lot of makeup, I've realised. This past year I've collected a shit ton and um, I'm probably going to do a declutter series on my channel and give some stuff away to you, my housemates and stuff like that. But anyway, I was going to come and film this video and then I realised that I had just washed my makeup brushes and so a lot of it was really dirty and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to film it anyway and it'll be like a PJ's relaxed end of year December favourites video and all that good stuff. So I'm not wearing any makeup, hence all you can see this giant spot here. The only makeup I am wearing is mascara and lipstick because I felt like putting lipstick on and uh, if I don't wear mascara I look like an alien. I just have to, I'm sorry. I'm... This is as relaxed as you're gonna get me at the moment. Having a viewfinder facing you is very very distracting. I've got quite a lot of stuff. Some of it I only discovered recently because it's Christmas, I got given things for Christmas, uh, but this is going to be a reasonably festive video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. First of all, let's start with makeup and let's start with lip products. I've really been enjoying these Tarte Maracuja lip glosses for most of this month. My mum gave me them as like a pre-Christmas present. Um, she bought like the set and you get three of these boxes each of them have five lip glosses and there's like three sets of five and she kept one and she gave one to a friend and she gave one to me so I got the colors fizz which is a glittery muted rosy pink fave which is a brighter rosy pink without any glitter frill which is like a corally pink like a peachy neon coral colour. Vava, which is the darkest colour and it is this red and as you can see this one's um, a little bit missing because the stopper on this one got stuck in the cap and I lost a lot of product but uh, that doesn't reflect on the product. And lastly Voom, which is a nude and it also has a little bit of shimmer but it's a much softer shimmer than the other shimmery colour. My favourite two out of these have been Fave, that's, that's kind of funny, that's actually kind of funny, and Voom. Uh, I'll swatch those for you. They are a really creamy formula and they're, I'd say like semi-pigmented, they're not like completely opaque but they are like very pigmented as far as lip glosses go. They're not overly sticky which is also a thing that I, you know, really don't like about lip glosses is that they tend to be quite sticky. These aren't sticky at all, they're very very creamy and moisturising on the lips and they also have peppermint in them so they taste really nice and pepperminty and they um, also have a little bit of plumping action so they like tingle on your lips a little bit. I really like that, some people don't like lip glosses that do that but I really like that. As you can see they are really lovely and high shine and like I said fairly pigmented as well as far as lip glosses go. I've really been liking wearing these, I've really been into gloss lately, I know this is the time of year when people are more into uh, matte lips but my lips have been really really dry because it's winter and that's what happens in the winter, my skin goes dry and my lips go dry. So I've been wearing a lot of gloss and uh, those ones have been my favourites this month. And the last lip favourite is this Olivia Palermo collaboration with Ciate London. She did a collaboration with Ciate London and made a bunch of different makeup. There was like two palettes, a couple of lip glosses and lipsticks and like all kinds of different makeup stuff. Uh, this one's in the colour Truffle and first can we just like have a fangirl about the packaging? I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has a little bow on the lid which is the nail varnishes or have like a bow on the... Um, on the wand of them, the nail varnishes by Ciate, which as you know Ciate nail varnishes are my fave. Um, it's just this really nice peachy, peachy brownish nude colour and there is also a bow on the lipstick but I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. This is just a really nice creamy peachy nude and it's a really lovely formula as you can see. It's just so 
pigmented and it feels really nice on the lips it's not drying at all it's actually kind of moisturizing it's kind of like a, just a, a satin natural finish it's not like matte it's not like really shiny I'm definitely going to have to check out more of Ciate makeup now because this is the first makeup item from them that I've tried and I've loved it I love the color I've been wearing it almost non-stop this month also I got that Ciate lipstick from TK Maxx so I paid like less than half the price for it Always good. Always buy your stuff from TK Maxx. TK Maxx have a great beauty section. Uh, speaking of things I bought from TK Maxx, I bought this big set of Bare Minerals Loose Pigment Eyeshadows. Um, I don't know what they're called. Are they just called Bare Minerals Eye Colours? They're like the ones that come in the little pots like this. I bought a set of like nine of them, I think. Um, they were maybe ten. I don't know. Quite a lot. Um, it was like a set from Easter, but TK Maxx has leftover stuff from previous like seasons sometimes they have last christmas stuff sometimes they have last easter stuff sometimes they have you know like more recent stuff um as with the ciate but this is from easter and it came with loads of different colors and i've been loving these they're really pigmented and really nice um i just picked out my three favorite shades this is vanilla sugar which i used in a tutorial recently it's a really nice peachy bright color it's like a peachy pink but in the light it shines really nicely peach so i used it in my orange and cranberry fail tutorial can you see how reflective and pretty and beautiful that is it's just so gorgeous it's like all over the lid or like in a corner i also really like this color which is angel food cake and this one's more of like a deep pinky tone and this one is also a lot more like glittery as opposed to having a shimmery sheen to it can you see that oh it's so beautiful the light's kind of washing it out a little bit but as you can see it's just a really nice purpley pinky glitter shade and i think it's absolutely stunning and lastly i've been really enjoying this shade called dark chocolate which is a glittery dark brown and i've been loving just like really messily applying this all over the lid and all under my lower lash line and doing like a really grungy look and i just think it's a stunning color so it's like a sparkly really dark brown I absolutely love the formula of these eyeshadows, they're really really pigmented as you can see and I think that it's definitely made me want to try more loose eyeshadows and pigments. There are a couple of pigments from MAC that I was like wary about getting just because I thought that these kind of formulas were quite difficult to work with but I've been really enjoying these and I would definitely recommend Bare Minerals loose eyeshadows. Um, obviously these kinds of loose products are a little bit more difficult to work with but I still think they're absolutely amazing products. Sticking with the theme of eyeshadows, if you saw my most recent video, it was a first impressions on these babies, which are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Now you can buy them on Beauty Bay, so they are now available in the UK, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I picked up five shades, as you can see. I picked up Creme Brulee, Frappe, Ritzy, Bitten, and Mocha, and I absolutely adore these. I basically use them every single day since I got them in the mail. I think that they are incredibly pigmented, and they are the easiest to blend eyeshadows that I have ever used. I'm not going to swatch them or mess around with them uh, in this video, but I will link down below and up in a card somewhere on the top of the screen a um, a link to the first impressions that I did on these if you are interested. Um, to sum it up, I think they're great and that you should go out and buy them if you were thinking about it because they are awesome. This is a rediscovered favourite. I rediscovered it in my last favourites video, the Codely Grape Water, which I finally reordered. And likewise, I have just rediscovered my Their Real Mascara from Benefit. My mum bought me this for Christmas. Thank you very much, mum. And uh, it's just how I remembered. I had two little samples of this last Christmas and they did last me a really long time, to be fair. Those two samples lasted me pretty much up until like October time. I got rid of my last one in my empties video which I filmed kind of November time so yeah but now I have the full size and I'm so excited I'm wearing it right now on my lashes this is my favorite mascara of all time period I love it a more affordable favorite now this is the collection contour kit highlight and sculpt and this is from my favorite drugstore affordable brand uh, collection like I just said and I have been using this pretty much all the time I think that these are really nice shades actually uh, they came out with a bunch of new like face products and like palettes and stuff 
and this one obviously just has a contour shade and a highlight shade. I feel like these kinds of contour palettes are way more my speed than the big Anastasia style ones where they have like three different, three or four different bronzers and three or four different highlights. That kind of thing like interests me but at the same time I know it's just not kind of on my level because I don't contour and highlight that vigorously or intensely I guess. I think that the bronzer is really nice because it's not overly pigmented and it works really nicely for pale skin. I feel like it's a really neutral undertone as well which is great and the highlight isn't my absolute fave but it is a very workable and wearable highlight colour so I don't know if you can... I've kind of swatched them in a really awkward place. Great. That's that contour colour there and you probably can't see the highlight but that is swatched underneath. I think that if you're looking for affordable contour products then check this out if you're in the UK or in a country that sells collection because these are really good and I think I paid less than five pounds for this so that's absolutely amazing they work just as well with a brush and I have used them in my last few tutorials if you are interested in seeing them in action and the last makeup product that has been my favorite in December is this MUA skin define hydro powder uh, with vitamin E and jojoba. So this is a bit, but the, the, the. this again was super, super affordable. MUA is a dirt cheap brand. I think I paid three pounds for this powder, which um, they do a powder for a one pound as well. So like, that's how dirt cheap MUA is. But I actually do like quite a few products from MUA. I like their palettes. Um, I've talked about those before. Uh, and I saw this range and obviously hydro powder kind of means hydration for dry skin, which I have dry skin. Um, and it says that it's a super lightweight setting powder infused with vitamin E and jojoba for a soft, nourishing and natural finish. And I think this is what this gives. It's not mattifying. So if you're an oily skin girl and you really want like a powder that mattifies you, skip this, just pay like a pound more and get the Rimmel Stay Matte if you're looking for a good drugstore pressed powder. Um, but this one I really like. It is translucent, but I think that it wouldn't work for darker skin because it does come across a little bit white. I've been using this to set my under eyes and the centre of my face and I really really like it. It's very brightening because it is like a pale colour. It stops my under eye concealer from creasing. I think that it looks really natural on the skin. It's not the most finely milled powder of all time but it is fairly finely milled for the drugstore. And it does feel less powdery than other powders that I have tried. So I recommend this if you are a girl who has dry skin but still likes to set your under eyes or your t-zone or whatever just in case. I think that this is a really good option. This spot on my lip is like distracting me. I'm sorry, I know it's really gross. Yes? Um, I have a couple of shower favourites for you guys. This is something else that me and my mum picked up from TK Maxx and it's a Philosophy shower gel. This is vanilla bean nutmeg and it smells like heaven. Oh, it smells like baking cookies, like cinnamon goodness. It's so, so good. And it actually has a cookie recipe on the front. It's from the Christmas range. I think they bring this out every year because I saw it in Boots as well this season. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I want to cover my entire body in this and I want to smell like this forever. It's amazing. It smells so good. And you can also use it as a bath uh, foam, like a bubble bath, and as a shampoo. I have used it as a shower gel, a shampoo, and a bubble bath, and it works amazingly all three ways. And if you want to smell like Christmas, personified then you should use this shower gel. Also they're selling them in TK Maxx for half the price they sell them on QVC or in Boots or in other places so definitely get your hands on them at TK Maxx if you can find them. And the last shower product that has been a favourite this month is this Chris Tingle body conditioner from Lush. I love the Lush body conditioners anyway because I'm a lazy person and a lot of the time I can't be bothered to use a moisturiser after I get out of the shower or I don't remember blah blah blah. blah. Um, if you don't know what the body conditioners by Lush are you use them the same way you would a hair conditioner but on your body, apply them in the shower or in the bath or whatever onto wet skin and then just rinse off. This one um, is like spearminty and it's minty, it's like bright blue. Oh my god, it's like clearing my clearing my sinuses. Oh. The lid says invigorating peppermint and menthol and the side says spearmint. So I <laughs> It's a mint of some description. It's a mint of some description. It's it's some kind of mint, okay? Um, and what I really like about this is not only does it moisturise your skin, but this is so nice to use after you work out or if you've got like sore and aching muscles, if you have like chronic fatigue or fibro like I do, then this is probably going to be awesome for you. I've been loving using this like on my shoulders and like on my arms and then on kind of like my thighs that hurt after I do a workout or whatever. It really like gets in deep and helps your muscles cool down after you exercise or whatever. And I think that it is a awesome product for the 
that reason. I really like using this and then layering it with like a mentholy uh, body moisturiser to really like invigorate my muscles and kind of like help them out after I've worked out or whatever. I've said whatever like six times. Uh, this was expensive but I got it for 50% off in the sale after Christmas so if you want to see if they uh, still have these in your local Lush store then you can probably get them for 50% off. All the Christmas stuff is 50% off currently so definitely check that one out because if you can get it for less than £16.50 which was the full price for this size tub then you should definitely do that because £16.50 is expensive. A couple of clothing products and then I will move on to some more random favourites and I think I just got lip gloss on my cardigan. Great. My grandma got me this like cardigan coat for Christmas. My grandma Steph, she got me a cardigan coat for Christmas and it's just this really nice kind of like thick cardigan and as you can see it's this nice black and grey pattern and it's really long. It comes down to like my knees and it's been a really mild December in England. I don't know about where you guys live but it's been like one of the mildest Decembers ever. Down in Exeter I would go out without a coat like almost every day because it really wasn't cold at all. So this is perfect for this kind of weird seasonal weather that we've been having lately. I think this is going to be absolutely perfect to wear an extra because it's so hilly that like you don't really need to wrap up warm even if it's cold outside because you will get warm from walking up hills. So soft it is really nice and cosy and woolly and I love these kind of oversized drapey long line cardigans so I'm gonna wear the fuck out of this. I have been wearing the fuck out of it. Um, and my last clothing favourite is this plaid shirt. I got this from the men's section of a charity shop and they actually had two of these in two different sizes and I got one and then one of my best friends, Molly, hi Molly if you're watching, uh, she got one as well <laughs> in the exact same shirt, uh, the exact same colour just in a different, I think hers was like a large and mine was a medium. Uh, and this was only £3 as well. I love going to charity shops and secondhand places to look for uh, plaid check shirts because you can get them dirt cheap and they sell them in Topshop for like 20 quid. and this was £3. It's just really nice and oversized, it's also really thick so again it's just really nice to kind of layer up with in this kind of like mild winter weather that we've been having. It's really not been that cold at all so it's kind of like the perfect, the perfect seasonal clothing piece. Oh, and uh, I completely forgot, but I guess this counts as clothing. These pyjamas! It says, the most wonderful time of the year. And then the bottoms are like, florally. Uh, my grandma got me these pyjamas from M&S for Christmas. My other grandma. Hi, other grandma. And they are like the comfiest, warmest, softest pyjamas of all time. And they're very festively appropriate. So thank you very much. These are definitely my favourites for the month. And another thing that is seasonally appropriate and also adorable it's a fox! My, um, my grandma also got me this foxy hot water bottle cover and hot water bottle for Christmas as well because I asked for one and I just think it's so cute and it's going to be so, so, so great just like when I'm feeling a little bit cold and chilly. Our house at uni is like always freezing. Uh, this is going to be awesome and it's just so cute. I could not include it. Look how adorable it is. Ah. And then a couple of more miscellaneous favourites, random favourites. Um, I'm obsessed with all Yankee Candle Christmas scents, like I actually have like a Yankee Candle votive burning here. Not burning here, but sat here. This is like the mulled wine berry flavour, I think. This one here is my ultimate favourite at the moment though, because it smells exactly the same as the vanilla bean nutmeg uh, philosophy shower gel. This is Christmas baking and it's just... If I can open it. Oh, it smells like cinnamon and nutmeg and like all festive spices and we've been burning this in the living room downstairs and the whole house has been smelling like we've been cooking all the time, always, and I love it. I fucking love it. So if you can still get your hands on these Yankee candles, even better, a lot of them are on sale in boots right now for like half price. Get some of the Christmas scents because personally I burn these all year round. Christmas scents are my favourite scents and Yankee candle Christmas scents give me life, like for real. And then a really, really random favourite that I've been absolutely adoring this month has been this Magical City adult colouring book. You know, these like adult colouring books have been really popular lately. Um, a lot of people with anxiety and other kind of like um, mental health or learning disorders have been using them in order to calm themselves down. Um, I also think they're just really fun to do. I've been really, really enjoying doing them. This one is, like I said, A Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen and it's all like cities around the world. Here is a page that I filled in. It is a waterfall. 
in case you couldn't tell. Um, and I also, let me show you my favorite one. I also filled in a Sherlock themed one. Um, my uncle and aunt, hi Ian and Jenna, they got me this for Christmas and I've literally not stopped using it. I've been doing this instead of reading at night, which is really bad because I need to start reading again. But yeah, I've been kind of mildly obsessed with these adult colouring books. So I think that they are an awesome kind of like way to pass the time without having to use your brain too much. And I really like them. They make me feel like I'm still doing artistic things, even though I haven't done art for a really long time now. So that's everything that has been a favourite for the month of December. Please let me know down in the comments some things that you've been loving in December. And if you would still like to see a Best of Beauty and or a Worst of Beauty 2015, then please let me know. I just will have to film them kind of mid-January because that's when I get back to university and that's when I'll have access to all of the makeup that I own. So that's everything for this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram, they'll all be linked down in the description along with everything that I'm wearing and what's on my face right now. I don't know why I said that. Force of habit. I'm not wearing anything on my face right now apart from mascara and lipstick. And I already told you where these pyjamas are from. Good one, Yvette. Great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a amazing 2016. Bye!